right so we have to understand what should be the role for example if i have an idea about the age care assistant team it's fine but if i won't have the idea then it will be a challenging thing for me i need to learn from the uh, this case notes right anyhow so for example i would see that what is the role of age care assessment team for the sake of example if i got this letter in the exam and i have no idea what is the role of age care assistant team so as the name indicate it would be typically for the elderly age patient who can help them to modify their you know like lifestyle and the household activities as the name indicate you can also have this letter or such letter or similar letter with the genetic review for the elderly people in the real exam anyhow so with reference to this card we can see that age care assistant team and what type of assistance may be required this is the role of the team that has to be done so normally what we do after reading the citing task we will go to the plan so in this plan we can see that if we can find something or not so now i request a home visit by the age care assessment team as soon as possible to fully assess their need and to arrange for appropriate further assistance again you can see uh, the things are not clear over here so we will go toward the concern and we will read the concern so provided there are not complication with the wound healing your role in providing the nursing care ends like you are writing the nurse when stitches are removed on this state you consider that jimmy and orthi needs to be assessed for ongoing assistance in managing house so basically if i can see there this is the main concern for writing this is the main reason of writing that this age care assistance team has to understand the requirement that should be uh, you know like known to the age care assistance team for the management of house and garden shopping and cooking let's say so this is the main concern that need to be addressed anyhow with reference to that we try to start reading the case not from top to bottom now so that we can understand so let's say we are writing this letter uh, you know like to the blue skies home nursing center uh, sorry not to the we are writing the letter from the blue skies uh, nursing center as we are a nurse over here and we have visited the patient right after discharge from the hospital name of the patient okay it's important address everything is important we can write it down the patient was diagnosed with left malignant melanoma so medical history showed that there were leon was removed on this date he was discharged on that date and after discharge it was a guideline at that time okay so the family history we can see married and age so at this point of time this is important for age care this one right so wound dressing healing satisfactory balance and shaky complaining of okay okay again we can see that this is more important thing for the home care assistance team so now the thing that we will shade in yellow now that will be less important or we can just make an overview to write down this thing to make the overview otherwise there is no need to mention these details for the age care assistance but to make a ground we have to write it down this thing may be just in overview form and the things that we can mark with the red is important let's say very very important we cannot miss this thing you can see there that the things that we would mark in red will be more important so very important actually to to write it down okay we will not miss anything as it would be required and those areas that will be marked with yellow should be less important and summarize okay close this is important actually so although these are important so basically you can see that the main reason of writing has been addressed 
over here. So now we can see that how would we write down the introduction to this letter? Uh, if you want to, if you would like to ask any question with reference to selection or organization, please feel free to ask. Hear me? Yeah. So you were visiting this patient for wound care, right? Today you have visited the patient and you have seen that a uh, patient wound has no complication, right? However, the patient voice was concerned about future management. Uh, and it has been directed to you to provide the further ongoing assistance in managing home. Right? This was the guideline by the HK team that he has this, this team has to do. And garden. Right. Cooking and shopping. So this is the main task that has to be followed, right? Okay. Is it clear to you? So basically, now we can write down the introduction in two formats. We can also write down I am writing regarding patient name who needs or Mr. and Mrs. whatever who needs. Uh, assistance by an age care team regarding household management cooking Shopping and their garden. As we So we can just write it down the introduction. I'm writing regarding Mr. XYZ who need assistance by an HK team regarding their household uh, management, cooking, shopping, and their garden. Right? As he has been visited by us for the management of her wound post operative to her lien due to malignant melanoma. Right? This could be the introduction to this diagram. Oh, you can have a little of transition so that you can move on toward the main task. So how would we can transit this thing? We can simply write down Mr. Let's say whatever the name is who had uh, undergone okay we can write down Mr. X who's large lien was removed successfully Therefore, I was paying him that I had visited him today for the sport that was mentioned, right? However, her his wife was concerned regarding the future care as she and her husband both are eight care pension and so on then we can write it down the relevant history uh, let's say household things that was mentioned over here right and the 
rest of the details related to the HK team, right? We just give an overview first about the lien removal, and then the that we have managed the wound and there was no complication, right? However, her wife was concerned. Wife was concerned regarding the future as she and her husband are the aged care pensioner, and then you can move on to the other. Okay, this is the way we can a possible way out. We can organize this letter. We would see that how would you organize this letter, and then we'll discuss. So, anyhow, anything that you want to discuss now in this letter, please feel free to ask me. This is one more thing that I would like to add, and uh, before we can close this uh, video, that the pattern we discussed does not mean that you have to follow in every and different letter. This is just a layout to give you an idea that how would you write down a different type of letter. So I hope that you it would be helpful for you.